Texas. Papa, you're covered in snow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta work on that. Sell some blue or something like that for my hair. Head and shoulders. I know it. Let's make a snow yoke. Every day has been cold for me, being from Arizona. But day two proved to be quite fascinating to me. I don't see much snow out in the Phoenix area. And uh, I, I like the snow and I was willing to go call the snow, but our cameraman wouldn't let us go call in the snow. Uh, Larry and I both, we were eager to go and then put some fur down. And, uh, but we were kind of overridden because the Fox Bros. Uh, wouldn't let it happen. Here we are in the blizzard of 2012 in Seminole, Texas. Made this trip special for coyote hunting. And here we are stuck in the truck. And, uh, sucks. There's a little frost on the pumpkin. Uh, about 20 degrees. Hold on to your hat, ladies and gentlemen. It could be one of those kind of mornings. As we were walking in, we heard coyotes sounding off in, uh, all around us. Uh, we heard a bunch of coyotes howling in front of us and went up there and I, I took the call, uh, the remote from Larry and... Try a trick. Can you work my magic, see if I can get this done. Come on. Lair instead of rabbit. I'm gonna try some vocalizations and do some diaphragm stuff here. Is that cool? We start playing vocalizations. I did a couple uh, non-aggressive howls with the diaphragm. Nice job, Steve. Let's go take a look at that dog. Tell you what. Check it out. See what in that Well, yep. Look at the fur on that coyote. He's probably as good as he's gonna get this year. He's a male and he's got some uh, yellowing on his teeth. He's probably, I'm gonna go. I think he's three and a half, just the the the, the coloring of his teeth and it is, looks like he uh, had something oh, here. No, he's a fighter. I mean, yeah, look, at that. look at the canine marks on his nose and stuff, you know. When you're hunting, I mean, calling the animals, uh, getting them down is a big part of it. But it, an even bigger part of it is the camaraderie between friends. I mean, it's, that's what it's about. It's about being out in the fields with your friends. I know it's a cliche, but it's a brotherhood. It really is. I mean, it's hard not to have a good time with this group of guys that we had with us. It really is.